Welcome back to The Legal Brief, the show where we crush the various legal myths and misinformation surrounding various areas of the gun world. I'm your host, Adam Kraut, and today we're going to tell you the truth about the gun buying process. Kinetic Development Group is the place to outfit your FN SCAR rifle. Bottom to top and front to back, they have everything you could need. The SAS stock set, the MREX rail, QD points everywhere, and of course, the scarging handle. Top it off with some Kinect or side lock mounts, and you've got yourself a next level setup in a hurry. And then you can pack it all into the apparition bag and be on your way. We've worked with KDG since the early days of TGC, and you guys know the drill. Go to kineticdg.com, use the code TGC10 to get 10% off your entire order. After the tragedy in Parkland, Florida, gun control has been trotted out as a way in which we can prevent these incidents from occurring. While gun control advocates continue to push for more restrictions on law-abiding citizens, it's become rather clear that a number of people are undereducated on how guns are actually bought and who can buy them. It's worth noting that when we're talking about gun laws, federal and state law comes into play. Let's start with the most common misconception, background checks. No one is able to walk into a gun shop or a gun show and buy a gun from a dealer without undergoing a background check. Federal law requires that a dealer complete a background check on the person purchasing a gun prior to actually transferring it to them. The person must also complete a form called the Firearms Transaction Record, or 4473, which contains a number of questions related to federal prohibitions. Questions on the form include things like whether the person's been subject to a restraining order, been convicted of a crime punishable by more than one year imprisonment, whether they've been dishonorably discharged, and if they've ever been involuntarily committed or adjudicated a mental defective. We actually covered the ins and outs of the 4473 and prohibited persons in separate videos, which will be linked down in the description. Now I know what you're thinking. A person could just lie and get a gun, right? Eh, not quite. After the form is completed, the dealer must run a NICS check, otherwise known as the National Instant Criminal Background Check System, on the person. Some states, like Pennsylvania, are a point of contact state, where the dealer actually contacts the state police, who then in turn contacts NICS. Either way, NICS gets contacted. NICS is run by the FBI and contains a repository of information, which, among other things, pertain to the criminal records of people. The system tells the dealer they can proceed with the transfer, delay the transfer, which means NICS has to look for records or information about that individual attempting to purchase the gun before rendering a decision, or deny the transfer outright. If the background check system denies a person, the dealer is prohibited from completing the transaction. In other words, they don't leave with a gun. There are a variety of reasons that a person can be denied. As I mentioned before, things like being subject to a restraining order or being a felon. On top of that, states have their own prohibitions which go beyond that of the federal government. I've included a link to Pennsylvania law as an example. Currently, the federal government prosecutes less than 1% of individuals who attempt straw purchases, which is just a fancy name for buying a gun for someone who can't legally possess one, or making false statements on the 4473, since a person is certifying their answers are true under the penalty of perjury. That figure was relayed to me by a representative of FBI at the NICS retailer event last summer. Federal law also prohibits a dealer from transferring a handgun or ammunition to be used in a handgun to an individual who's under 21 years of age. 18 year olds may purchase a shotgun or rifle and the ammunition to be used in them. There's also no lawful way for a person to mail order a modern firearm and have it delivered to their doorstep. Just doesn't happen. Any firearm ordered online must be sent to a licensed dealer who then must conduct a background check. Now, while some politicians would have you believe that you can just walk into a dealer and walk out with an automatic rifle, that's simply not the case. It is true machine guns are legal for civilians to own. However, civilians are banned from owning a machine gun made after 1986. As a result of market economics, on the cheap end, a machine gun is on average from seven to $10,000. Couple that with the additional paperwork requirements and the tax for a machine gun, the number of people who purchase them are extremely limited. It requires a lot of time, hard-earned money, and compliance with additional requirements to own one. As you can see, gun laws at the federal level are not as lax as some might have you believe. There are already a number of existing laws that prohibit people from legally obtaining guns. However, all the prohibitions in the world don't actually matter if the government's not going to enforce the law. And to those out there who are shocked a person is able to purchase a firearm and take it home the same day, I leave you with this thought. 
It's a good thing that law-abiding citizens are able to do so. If you aren't a criminal, you should be able to exercise your constitutional right to keep and bear arms without a hassle. Just like you should be able to walk down the street without the police stopping you and asking for your papers. Just like you should be able to hold an unpopular opinion, express it, and not fear reprisal for doing so. After all, these are your rights as enumerated in the Constitution. Sick of bad information finding its way around the internet? Make sure you share this video with your friends. Don't forget to hit that like button and get subscribed. Consider supporting us via the links down in the video description. If you haven't yet, be sure to download the Gun Collective podcast on iTunes. We would love to get your feedback on that. And as always, thanks for watching. The shirts worn in today's video on the Gun Collective have been provided by Patriot Patch. Closed captions have also been brought to you by Patriot Patch Company. Be sure to click the link in the video description to check out all of their great products, including their cleaning mats.